we'd like to show how to grind a rooftop shear on the X-Sharp grinder. This would also apply to a uh, whisper shear, uh, but basically any tool with a non-flat surface on the top of it. So to start with, we're going to remove the three-jaw chuck that's in the machine normally for grinding flat tools. Just take that off and set it aside. And I recommend if you haven't done it, you want to check and see that your machine's table is reasonably level. So take your bubble level and just throw that on there and check. Uh, that's what we're going to be setting level on the tool, so you want to be comparing apples to apples there. So now we'll put the four-jaw chuck on here. And the four-jaw chuck is able to tip, so we can adjust to whatever angle we need for this tool. So we'll put that on. Tighten up the one screw with the wedge on it. And then we need to put the tool in the chuck. It helps to use the alignment plate that comes with the four-jaw chuck. There's several different alignment plates for different punch styles. Here I have a, a Wilson Tool HP style. This is the correct plate for that. So that picks up on that pin. That way when I put it on here, the punch is oriented correctly so that it's square to the chuck. So I tighten the punch up and now what I need to do is adjust this angle using these jack screws so that the surface of the punch is flat. So I need to tip that way. So I'm going to loosen this screw that'll tip down and then I will tighten this up. So you want both of these screws tight when you get done with this and you want the bubble in the center. Sometimes it takes a little bit of going back and forth to get those so that they're tight and you're centered on the bubble. But there we go. Double check. The punch is secure in the chuck and the chuck is secure on the machine. Take the bubble level off and we're ready to grind that side of the rooftop shear. So we just set however much we want to take off and hit start. Now the machine will come down and measure off of that surface that I set level. So one thing to point out here is it's important that that surface that it's checking on now is toward the front of the machine where this measuring bar is checking. You wouldn't want to set that up so that that surface is in the back inside the machine somewhere. You want that out front where the measuring bar can actually touch it. Okay, so we did the first side of the punch. Now we want to do the other side. The best way to do that is just remove the punch, turn it around 180 degrees, secure the punch again, and then just grind the same amount that we ground before. So that's all there is to it. We ground both sides of the rooftop shear. We're ready to remove the punch and put it back in service.